Hello my fellow gamers, my name is Peter and during this video I will help you with crafting drinks for your thirsty villagers in Going Medieval. You will see how the whole production process for rough wine, ale and beer works and how much you have to craft to make sure your villagers never again go without their precious drinks. You can track just how thirsty your villagers are by checking their stats in this window once you click on them. The thirstier your villager is, the larger the negative modifier on his mood. Interestingly enough, there is no water to deal with in this game, so they will drink whatever you can brew for them. On that note, the first and foremost thing you have to do is to unlock the technology for brewing in your research screen by spending 15 chronicles on it. This unlocks the brewing station necessary for drink making. You should build it under a roof to have full production efficiency, especially because of how slow the brewing process is. Unlike my previous videos which covered multiple topics like how to start a new map in spring or how to deal with summer and winter problems, which you can find up here on the right and in the description below, this video is about a single topic. More such videos will follow on topics like clothing production, lone wolf start, min maxing your villagers and so on. As brewing drinks is an early technology, you're not expected to have ripe barley for ale or beer production but I will explain those in this video as well. So what you do is collect the red currant berries from shops in large quantities so you can produce a rough wine. Just for one brew of it you need 20 units of red currant berries. To speed up production try to have a stockpile where they will be collected near the brewing station. To start up a new brew you have to have a villager who has a priority on his culinary skill as this is the skill associated with the brewing station. The level of the skill is not important for low level recipes like rough wine. Once the villager has added the required resources in the brewing station, the rest of the process is automated and painfully slow. This is why I would advise adding a second brewing station as soon as you have enough villagers for resource collection. Now the problem with rough wine is that red currant berries from which you make it rot rather quickly and can be exhausted. This is why once you unlock agriculture make sure to plant a field of barley so you have another available resource for drink crafting. You also need 20 units of barley for ale brewing, while beer brewing also requires additional 5 herbs in that recipe, which means you need to grow a field of herbs as well. On top of all that, beer also requires the villager using the brewing station to have culinary skill at level 10. All these recipes produce 10 units of drinks after a successful brewing process. One important thing to remember is that villagers will eventually start puking from rough wine, so don't plan on producing just wine for your entire playthrough. I hope this video answered your questions about thirsty villagers and crafting drinks. If you want, you can help me out by liking this video, commenting about any other subject you want me to explain, and subscribe so you see that video when I post it. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!